my friends. Today I wanted to talk about how to make a rim for your route. And although this can be a little bit of a lengthy process, it's not a very hard uh, macrame knot to tie. So I think that it's pretty accessible to most people and I'll try to explain it as clearly as possible. These can be done in a variety of strings. This particular one I'm using is a cotton string, but I would recommend any string that's not going to fray very much because you don't want the material going onto the tongues of the rabs or just causing a mess. So something that has very little uh, wispy sort of short hair is coming off of it. So let's take a look at what the rim looks like up close and then I'll show you how to make one. There's a view of the rim off of the rav. And you'll notice there's this sort of zigzagging pattern throughout it. And this is done by a relatively simple knot. First thing you need to do is cut two pieces of your rope, whether it be paracord rope or cotton rope, to 60, six and a half feet long, or about 76 inches. And this is going to allow enough material to fully encompass the outside of the raft. And just lay those two next to each other on whatever surface you're going to be working on. These 76 inch pieces are what's going to be the part that you're tightening around the outside of your rav, so it'll be in direct contact with the instrument, whereas the second string we're going to cut is going to be used to make that zigzag pattern. Now after cutting and measuring your outer two ribs, you're going to take another piece, leaving it on the roll. bring it all the way to the ends of your string. And at that point, you're going to reverse it back on itself. So what you're wanting to do is get one solid piece that is double the length of your 76 inch pieces. And this will end up being around 100 and 52 inches or so. So again, this is what you do when you're doubling it up on itself. And then you just want to slice the other end up here as well. Next, you're going to want to tape down both ends of the rope about probably about an inch and a half to two inches apart. So this one's taped down so we measure from there to an inch and three quarters in this instance. And what this is going to do is allow you to have space for this to wrap around the edge of it. Because again these are the ones that are going to tighten it around the wrap keeping the form for it. So you want to make sure that these are spaced well. So again, about an inch and a half, inch and three quarters. Right. Maybe the same thing on this end, pulling the roofs pretty tight, about an inch and three quarters to two inches apart. Now at this point, you're going to have a relatively even line going for about six and a half feet. You want to make sure these are relatively even in between and you've measured so they both should line up pretty well with each other. This is going to become the basis for where we're tying the other rope. What you're going to do next is take your longer rope Take one end of that long rib and tie it in a knot a little bit down from the top of one of the ribs. This is going to be your starting point. So the only knot that's involved in making this is one that's going to go over the string, under it, and back out on the top side of that. Then you want to go 
over this area, underneath, and then back through again. And I'll show you that again. You're going to want to tighten this up. You want the knot to look something like that. And you're going to be repeating this knot on the opposite side, doing the same thing. So you're going over, and it already automatically starts going over. Under. Over again. Under. And through that same loop. You want to make sure you tighten up the knots as you go along too, so they're not loose when you're pulling on them. So the same process will be repeated all the way down the entire course of the two strings that you have. And I'll show you once you get a little further down what it looks like. As you're continuing making your little knots. You're going to want to make sure that when you do them, you snug that area up against the area before it, so that as you do it, you're able to get a really tight knot that's right up against the ones before it. You don't want them separated out like that because it won't look good. Now as you go along, at some point you're going to run out of that string that you're making these knots with. Um, and depending on how thick your string is, will determine how long that 154 or 152 inch piece lasts. But once you run out of string, you want to cut both ends from your spool as well as from the end that you're tying flush. This one as well. And you're going to take a dab of super glue and you're going to press that, put the super glue on the end of this and hold them together for a minute and roll it between your fingers. This is going to make them adhere together. If you don't have super glue, you can also simply tie a small knot in the string and that will secure it and you can continue on your way. You will be able to see the knot, but that's not really that big of a deal. At some point you're going to reach an area where you only have about an inch to two inches left on each of the ropes that are taped down. You want to stop at that point. So the total size of the macrame area will be about, let's see, it's going to be about 60 inches total of macrame area. So once you've hit that point, you're going to stop. You're going to tie off the loose end of your extra string that you've been making these knots with. Just tie it to one of the sides in a single knot. That closes it up. It's not going to come unraveled. At that point, you want to undo both ends from the tape. And you're going to have something that looks like this. Now, at this point, this is ready to be tied onto the raft. So let's take a look at how to do that. To install your new rim, you're going to take the center of it and rest it on your legs. You're going to take, typically I like to put the top of the raft, so the side with the smallest note facing down, and place, piss that in the center of the string. So it's going to go in the middle of those two side pieces that you, you're using. From that point, you're going to take your left hand and bring that rim up to the top. And you're going to do the same thing with your right hand. Trying to keep that center portion really in the center. So without tying it, it's going to look like this. 
And these side pieces, when you tie them, are going to tighten up against this rim and create a really nice barrier. Just a very aesthetically pleasing look. At this point, you're ready to tie the top. You're going to take one of each of these strings, so from the, both top sides, and tie that. I usually do a preliminary tie, and I'll tighten them up. So tie it, do a light double knot. And do the same thing on the other side. Make sure you tie these really tight because it's going to help pull it around your wrap and create a really nice area for you. Now at this point, after you've tightened everything up, scooched everything over, you have the choice of either cutting these off or you could simply put beads on the ends of these as well. It's completely up to you what you do to decorate it. Although this does take a long time, I definitely recommend you guys give this a try. You're going to want an hour to two hours to do it, depending on how fast you are. But once you get in a groove, you should go pretty quickly. They also sell these pre-made in various sites, and I totally recommend if you don't feel like spending the time to do it, you can get them on there for relatively inexpensive. So, either way, hope you enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions or need clarification on an alt or anything, make sure to let me know below. Stay well, and I'll talk to you soon. I look forward to seeing what you create.